this match of the week. And as expected, it's Margaret on the right wing. Yahya Omar in the right back position. Kanton Mahe gets the start in the centre back role. Rasmus Lauga on the left back side. So they're definitely going for pace and a bit of strength as well in the left and centre back rather than their big, big shooters from outside. We'll see how that works for them uh, against this formidable. Barca defense and on that occasion doesn't work out well at all and a fast break opportunity right at the start here for Barca and it's put in the back of the net it's Alex Gomez who profits from that it was a really nice piece of play as well to keep the ball in play let's look at the replay of that I think it was Angel Fernandez who got the steal and managed to release the pass before he landed and good from the referees as well to notice that he tends sometimes to see the referees whistle even though they don't see the defender's foot inside not on that occasion Mahé squeezes that one through the legs of the keeper and we're all level Barca looking to respond immediately and Alex Gomez who's uh, really showing his fast twitch fibers here in the opening minute or so almost breaks through just about held up there's Blas Blagotinczek Held him up just before releasing that shot properly. And a bit of fortune there for Canton Mahé. Perez of Argos was equal to it, but just let it slip underneath him. Off his backside and into the back of the net. So the first settled attack now for Barca today. And it's Sindrich in the centre. Langaro was momentarily in that playmaker position, but in at left back. Deacon M on the right-hand side. Ball behind the back into the line. It's a bit of a scramble forward and picked up eventually by Ludovic Fabregas. Here we go again. Mem receives the low pass. Ball into the line through the legs of Fabregas. A fast break opportunity down the other end. That's nicely taken and put away. Great control there by Manu Sterlek. Managed to battle for that ball with the opposite wing. And it was almost like a wide receiver in American football keeping an eye on it, knew he was under pressure, but managed to hold on to it and get the shot away at the end. And all of a sudden, it's Vesprem with the early lead. A heavy challenge on Lukas Sindric causes him to stay down for a moment or so, and on top of that, two-minute suspension after only two and a half minutes of Blas Lagotinczek. It's the last thing he want, would have wanted and that uh, Vesprem would have wanted in these opening minutes. On top of that, it's a penalty for Alex Gomez to take. And he makes it two out of two for him today. First from the penalty line against his fellow Spaniard, Rodrigo Corrales. So Corrales, former Barca player for three, feet, three seasons, I think it was 2009. To 2012. And, uh, battle between the two first choice goalkeepers for Spain at an international level here with Perez of Argos at one end, Morales on the other. Omar. Yeah, Omar given just a bit too much space, but blocked down in the end. And a very smart piece of play by Tiagos Petras. Happy to give him the space to take on the shot. Just about got the block in in the nick of time. Langaro with a bit of space, and he makes no mistake there at all. Fires that one into the top right-hand corner. And already a bit of a topsy-turvy affair here. Barca take the lead, then Vesprem now Barca again. And Andy Nielsen just a little bit late to the block there. They are, of course, a man down in defense there and will be for the next 40 seconds or so. So they're happy to slow things down and attack and draw some fouls. Ball across to Omar again this time. Looks to keep the ball moving instead of forcing anything to happen. Lauga takes the challenge from them. Modric back in in the right wing. So no goalkeeper at home at the moment. Ball across to Omar. Almost slips out of his hands but kept in play. Omar again. Lays it off, but into the hands of a Barca defender, a let-off there as the referees 
save his blushes just a little bit. Yahya Omar yet to really settle into the game yet. Here he has a chance to make up for that. He does exactly that. Now he's settled in Yahya Omar with his first of the day. So nice work there from Vesprem to kill the penalty as well. They managed to hold that attack for about 50 seconds, get themselves back up to full strength. And draw level as well. Empty switch brings Langaro into the center. Space for him to run into. Ball across to Mem was a good one, but it, it caught a bit flat-footed there, Deacon Mem. Langaro tries to force his way through and just gets a free throw. Really got plenty of power in that right arm. And yeah, Langaro, the Brazilian international. Sindric. Ball across to Langaro again. Looks for the options, tries to find the line and hit out over the end line. Barca, oh, it's gorgeous, and it's saved. Oh, it's uh, so unfortunate. It could have been a brilliant moment for Alex Gomez as he leaves Manu Sterling for dead, but well covered by Rodrigo Corrales. Both sides. Some really nice play here in the opening couple of minutes. See that challenge on Omar. Lauga. Across to Mahe. Cross comes the line, but it's stolen. Well, in the end, it's not stolen. There was a bit of a battle between Lago Tinchek and that was the earlier challenge from Petrus. Forced the penalty in the end. Both players got their hands on it. Lago Tinchek given the benefit of the doubt, but it doesn't matter. Save from the penalty line by Perez de Vargas. Sindric. Uh, maybe a bit of karma there. A bit of handball justice from the handball gods as it seemed like a bit of a soft penalty in the first place. But nicely saved by Perez de Vargas. Langaro into the center again. Sindric waiting on the left-hand side. Langaro takes on the defender, but that's blocked down and a chance here to break. Keeper has to get back, he does, but can he stop Sterlach here on the break? No, he can't, Manu Sterlach. <laughs> Had to wait a little bit longer than he expected to get his hands on the ball. But in the end, didn't make a difference, scored the goal. Good defending down the centre again. Vesprem developing a bit of self-confidence here. With Patrick Ligadbari hauling down the attacker there, that was the end of the fast break, and it all came from the block in the end. Langaro trying to force the issue. Here he is in the center again. Sindrich, Langaro, he's got space on the right-hand side, a tough, tough angle for him, and in the end, Corrales has got a hand to it. And knocked it over the end line. Again, trying to force the issue a little bit. It worked for him a couple of minutes ago, but that's two attacks in a row there for Haniel Langaro, where Comes away with nothing. Very difficult angle for a right-hander coming around like that. Lauga. Mahe. Omar. Moves it off to Lauga again. Good movement in here. And there's a big target to aim at as well. No attacker foul call by the referees. But Colors the Vargas again. Really well covered from the wing. Barca with a chance to break here. Movement on the line as well that opens up things. And it's an in-play pass across. And Dika Mem fires it home in the end. Really nice play. Fabregas draws the defenders in as he goes across the face of goal. That takes their eye off Dika Mem just for a moment. Good pass across and another good save down the other end for Gonzalo. Barca. All of a sudden, riding a little bit of a wave of momentum. Both teams here producing some magical stuff at times. Other times, not so much. It's entertainment. There's the ball across. Jika Mem ends up on top of Corrales. And gives the ball away there. Well, that's what I was saying. It's from a ridiculous 
Sublime. That's a good counter-attack goal. Yahi Omar decides he has to go alone. Puts it away to give Vesprem the lead temporarily. Ball behind the back to Alex Gomez. And that's off the post. Woo! <laughs> The action just flowing here. For both teams creating some beautiful stuff. There's a the ball behind the back. Gomez had the keeper beat inside of the post, but somehow stayed out. Couldn't believe it himself. Asking the referees, come on, was that over? It wasn't over. And after 10 minutes here at the Palo Blaugrana, it's Vesprim. The narrowest of leads, trying to double that up here. <laughs> but there is the Vargas again. Wow. Point blank save on that occasion. Save number five for him. And that one, perhaps the best of all today so far. He saved it from the wing. He saved it from the penalty line. You can see he was frustrated with his defense more than anything, rather than celebrating the save. But he let his teammates and the fans celebrate it for him. Ball into Fabregas, has to keep it moving here. Langaro in the center again. Nadia Langaro to Sindrich. To Sindrich. That's a nice movement. And he draws in the defenders, lays it off for Dika Mam, who can just come barreling through then. And no stopping him from that range. 5 5. My Omar. To wriggle his way around, but in the end, held up well by the Agus Petras. He's marshalling the defenders well, the attackers well so far. Gave away that penalty against Blagotinchek, which, as I said, felt a little bit harsh, but besides that, he's had a good game. Around comes Margaret. That's the second line from the right wing. He'll try to fight his way back out. Lauga, Lauga across, that's a nice move, but at another big save, Paris to Vargas, what are you doing? Incredible stuff, Gonzalo stepping up for save number six already. He's barely played 12 minutes here, and there's a smile on his face at last. Worries, of course, that his defense are allowing these one-on-one -on -one opportunities left and right back positions, but still, he's cleaning up here. Engesson on for the first time today. He immediately delivers from the left back position. Timothée Engesson, goal number one for him. And shot wide to the right by Rasmus Lauge. So missing that last shot for Vesprem, who just came on. It was Jorge Maqueda. First change of the game for Vesprem. So both sides now starting to rotate the bench a little bit here. Both got very deep benches, as I mentioned. The strength and depth here. Makeda. Oh, he's got the space there, but well covered again. And he's an inspired form so far today, Perez de Vargas. Deacon M from about 10 meters out. Saved by Corrales, picked up on the rebound. That'll be a goal or a penalty. It's going to be a goal and perhaps. A two-minute suspension on top of that. It is indeed. It's a one-two. And from a bit of a rush shot by Dika Mem, it turns into the perfect situation for Barca as Fabregas fights for that rebound, gets the shot off, and scores the goal, and a two-minute suspension on top of that for Captain Mahé. So Barca, for the first time today, have opened up a two-goal lead. There was the shot well saved in the end, but the rebound picked up by Fabregas, and you can see his fellow Frenchman Mahé grabbing onto the back of his jersey, wrestling him from inside the six-meter area. In comes Nunadic for the first time today. Omar, ball across. And off the inside post, inside of the inside post, and that over the sideline. No dice there for Manu Sterlek. Either side really firing in all cylinders when it comes to shooting efficiency so far today. Got to give a lot of credit to the goalkeepers. 
that occasion. Keeper was beat, couldn't beat the post. Angus on, save by Rodrigo Corrales. <laughs> well, these two goalkeepers putting on a show for the Spanish public. Did well to completely tear that Vesprem defense apart in the center. Rodrigo making it look easy. Vesprem happy to slow things down. Still 35 seconds left on the suspension. Movement from Nielsen on the line. Linadic to Omar. Linadic again looking for the spin. Ball across to the wing. A great pass. And a, oh, off the post again. Mem gets it at the halfway line. Brilliant setup play down the other end by Linadic. Cross at the other end. Gomez saved at the near post by Corrales. The goalkeeper is on fire here at the Palo Blagrana. We're a quarter way through this game. Just 12 goals scored between the two teams. And it's all changed now. For Vesprem. So Mahi comes back after his suspension. Laug is going to take a break, and Nanada is going to stay out there in the left back position. Nielsen on the wraparound from the line. Nanada gets it in the center. Mahe pass across to Omar. Isn't a great one? And then a well, Omar with a bit of rush of blood to the head, I think there. Just there, charge right at the defender with his shoulder. Attacker foul called. Sindrich, Ingus on, saves at the far post and. Really both goalkeepers, Corrales and Perez de Vargas reading these shots so, so well, and they're getting down to the bottom corners over and over again. Making it look even a little bit easy. It's by no means easy. But after 16 minutes here, it's the goalies on top. Mahe, empty switch, brings the Nanich into the center. Ball across to Nielsen, and Andy Nielsen doesn't waste any time there. Quick spin around, releases the shot. Doesn't give him or Perez of Vargas a moment to think about it. Gets the goal. Ball given away. Chance to break now. Ball across to Manu Sterlek. And that time finds a way past Perez of Vargas. And all of a sudden, a quick fire double for Vestman. Brings them level 7-7. The sizable Vestman. Traveling fans enjoying themselves here. Definitely the louder of the two sets of fans at the moment. Barca had their moments, but the fans still getting into this one, still warming up. Ball across is a really nice one. Fired off the post by Ben Ali. Omar gets it back off of Nadic. He goes right through alone, makes no mistake there. Three goals in quick succession for Vesbrand. They take the lead. And another attacker foul given. And a chance here for Vesprem to break again. I think a timeout might be needed by Barca. Ball across to Andy Nielsen. And all of a sudden, from 7-5 down, Vesprem. Grab a 9-7 lead. And just as I suggested, it's a Barca timeout. AC Ortega, time to speak to your men. Cuidado con las distracciones que nos está jugando por detrás, muy fácil, muy fácil, ¿eh? Cuidado con las distracciones. Y luego el pivote se está moviendo muy fácil, está llegando algunos balones. Vale, en ataque, en ataque, cada vez que hemos ido a cero, nos están saliendo. Tenemos que ahorrar el bote, meter fly por el segundo o pasar al pivote o dejarlo de hacerlo. Vale, hacemos ahora 33, 33. Buenos cambios, escucha. Well, that's a big run of goals for Vesprem, four in a row, just when it seemed like they were bit stuck in the attack and Barca are finding their feet. Uh, some really simple mistakes as well. Counter-attacks given away. Uh, the defense being torn apart right in the center. 
see if this timeout has helped at all. Empty switch, putting Sindrich into the center. Oh, he goes through alone, sends it into the far post, and looks like we'll have a further punishment. It's Andreas Nielsen. And he gets the suspension for holding on to the jersey. As Sindrich came around. That's a soft one to give away. We've seen that on a few occasions today already. The suspension on top of a goal. Really the worst thing to happen. You can see a little tug of the jersey as he'd already beaten him. Put his hands up, but the referees weren't being fooled. And that's exactly what Ortega would have wanted from his team coming out of the timeout. Omar. Wing switch. Ball into Unadic. And saved at the near post again. And an empty net to shoot into for Paris the Vargas, but he misses. Well, you don't see him miss those too often. He's very good at full court shots. Gonzalo Perez of Vargas, but not on this occasion. That one drifting wide to the left. So we'll let off there. We'll Telecom Vesprem. Still a minute and five seconds left in their suspension. Omar, same move as before. Manage. This time lays it off for Omar, but the referees blow the whistle and a two-minute suspension for jersey grabbing. And it's Ali Zayn, who's the guilty party. And that's really unfortunate for Barca in that situation. Man up and uh, in control of the defense. Let's see what exactly he did there. I don't think that replay shows exactly what the problem was. Oh, nice breakthrough there. Really smart and sneaky stuff by Contomay. Extend the, extends the lead back up to two. Dikam just a little bit lazy in defense there on that occasion. And of course, we're playing six on five. Only five in defense to uh, try and be economical about your decisions. You can't commit too early. He makes up for that, and drawing the foul here. Nice breakthrough, and it's uh, the opposite situation now. So six on five in Barca's favor. Ingersoll for the pass, but good defending by Lagotinchek. The referees all the holes of the game. I think something uh, dropped onto the court there. Off one of the players. Sprint back up to full strength now. Free throw given away. And Andy Nielsen back in the center of that defense with Blagotin check. It's quite an imposing duo to have there. Oh, that's good. That's very good. And you can have enjoyed that as well. We're going to get the crowd riled up as he brings Barca back within one. Nice movement by Sindrich. Throws himself into the defense there afterwards. Ball slips out of the hands of Kanta Mahe. It was a nice idea. Didn't see the build up to that as we saw the replay, but good movement. Kanta Mahe, if he got his hands to it, clean through on goal. Ten seconds left now. And the Barca suspension, and considering how they got it, I think they'll be fairly happy with how those two minutes have gone. Go back across. And it's uh, spilled just out of the hands of Ben Ali. It's a bit of a helping hand from the referees there. With the whistle, push on the back. So both sides now back up to full strength. Engesson. Now back across to Engesson. Nine player movement there. Chance to give him the ball momentarily. Ben Ali back in. Engesson, it's a good save. With the left leg, trailing leg of Rodrigo Corrales. And it should just stick it out there in the nick of time. And it was being sent the wrong way. So much goal to aim for for Timothy Ingesson. Vladimir Chupara delighted with his fellow goalkeeper there. Save number seven for him. And, uh, 
and saving efficiency. Dead even, 44-44, both incredible outputs from the goalkeepers so far in this match. Lunatic, Omar. Omar gets it back in the center again, looking for the pass. It's Lekoy waiting on the left-hand side. He's come in in the backcourt now for the first time. That's a great pass across, and an even better save by Perez de Vargas. That number nine for him. Excellent pass. Moving Andy Nielsen. Plenty of space to run into and plenty of time to pick his shot as well. Nothing doing for the Swede. Around comes Ben Ali on the line switch. And it's Dolan Mackerts in the centre line. A bit more pace alongside Sindrich. Mackerts, Sindrich. Jans in the backcourt three. It's uh, really a dangerous trio to be facing. They won't out jump you, but they'll run around you. Not on that occasion, though. Good defending by Lagotinchek. Lekoy has a look around the sides. No need to rush it. As Lagotinchek celebrates his steal. That's turnover number five for Barca. And with possession, earned back. Momir Ilic decides. Best friends, first time out of the day. It's a very sack here. Hey, I won't. I won't. Ali Zayn, Yaya, here. With Nula Montpellier, cross Montpellier. For Yaya. Yaya, you start one on one, you come to the cross. Okay, okay if, if it's not, Nula Jans, you move to there. For you. Do you understand me? Okay, my. You are in the middle, Yaya. Ali Zayn to strong side, you come to the cross, and we have good situation. Come on, guys. Come on, hey, come on, come on. Come on, come on guys. Come on. Get down, Fred. Oh, very straightforward there from Momir Ilic. He just uh, gives his players instructions for the next attack. Signs up. Seems pretty happy with what else is going on there. All about setting up the next attack and giving his team the opportunity to extend their lead to two again. Tell you what, Homer Illich looking in uh, fine shape as well. He'd probably still be able to put in a good 20 minutes at this level. So, focus here on Yaya Omar. Take on Ali Zayn. Lays it off, good movement here, out to the wing. Gaspar Marguch at the near post, and with that, it's 11-9. Zayn, Makuts. Ben Ali moving well on the line there, but not really giving anything yet. Uh, attempt by Jans to play the ball into him, spills away. So we go back to the speedy trio in the backcourt. Makuts. On the left, Sindrich in the center. And on the right-hand side, Blasians. So the Croatian and the two Slovenians here. Makuts. Oh, good finish. Doman Makuts. First real shot in anger for him today. He gets a goal from it. And this game, a bit of a slow burner on the scoreboard, but outside showing. Some really nice handball. That's the goalkeepers making the difference in the scoreboard at the moment. Both above 40% save rate so far. Omar gets it back off Lekoy. Omar to Lekoy again, and seems like a bit of contact with the face there on Kent on my He needs a moment to regain his composure. Has a word with Ali Zayn. His way back out to the left wing, filling in there at the moment. And yeah, completely accidental. You see Zion reaching for the ball. Nadic, ball across the left going out to the wing, a bit high, but eventually Margoc gets a hand to it, but not enough time to compose himself and find a way past Perez de Vargas. Save number 10. Yes. It's a nice breakthrough and simple stuff for Barca down the other end. Lucas Indrich draws Barca level. Omar. Oh, just, just squeezes that past the keeper. Just enough power on that one. 
Both sides really going at it, hammer and tongs here. Which is not what you think. You just joined us and looked at the scoreboard, but both of these teams really going hard when they want to. McCoy out on top of defense, and that really opened up the space, but Lackers couldn't take full advantage of it. Happy to take on the defenders one on one and broke through. Four minutes left here in the first half, and it's West Brem. The narrowest of leads, 12 to 11. Hard to know exactly what both coaches will be thinking going into the break here. Both will feel they could be in a much better situation. But mostly, sure they'll just be happy to be in with a chance here in the second half, knowing that they can fix some things. Omar to Lekoy. Lekoy. Runs into trouble and good defending there by Blasians and a chance to break for Barca. Ball across to Ben Ali and he puts it into the bottom right hand corner. Youssef Ben Ali with his first of the day. And it all came from that smart defending by Blasians. Came across just in time as Lekoy was turning around, receiving the ball and drawing the attacker foul. Now in the right back position momentarily. Lays it off. And then Adic spins around looking for the pass. Ball to the left wing this time, but spills out of the hands and a bit lackadaisical there by Conto Mahe. Mourinho, good movement here in the backcourt, and it's Ali Zion tries to find the line. Spills out of the hands and a free throw given to Barca. Perhaps could have taken the shot himself there. Ali Zayn. Some words there between Ben Ali and the playmaker Lucas Sindrich. Gets her in there as well. Just a bit more resin on the ball there before we get things going again. Two minutes 20 left in this first half. Gets it back off. Sindrich. Empty switch brings Jans into the center. Tries to break through down the center. He does exactly that. But the shot is a bit soft and well covered by Corrales. Ball across to Makeda. Tries to find a way through. Wrapped up by two defenders and illegally perhaps as well. Yep, referees call the two minute suspension. There's Yusuf Ben Ali. He caught Makeda high there. But uh, Jorge Makeda minds. He prefers being beat up around seven, eight meters more than anything else in handball. And, yeah, I went down low as well. The referee's right on top of that situation. Anadic. Ball into Nielsen, and shot right between the legs, and save between the legs by Perez of Vargas. Barca come away with it, down the other end. Shot off the side of the post. And into the side netting, and Adic sends the keeper the wrong way. And in it, his awkward but effective style gives Vesprem the lead with his first goal of the day. Seen a lot of that today. Both sides going at it hard and either with well saved shots or turnovers, just four or five attacks in a row being played out in about a minute. On that occasion, as Vesper came out on top. So we're now in the final minute of this first half. And Gasson plays it to absolutely nobody and a chance to break here. In fact, there's an empty net to shoot into, and it's wide to the right. Oh, it's unfortunate. I think Kantan Mahe was going for something in between a shot and a pass there. Makeda probably could have got his hands to it if he wanted to. He left it and let off for Barca. 
25 seconds left in this half, and they should have the final shot of the half. They take care of the ball here. Jans, Wengeson off the hands of the keeper. And so, keeper's not back yet. As the Vargas eventually gets back. Six seconds left in the half. Chance for one more shot, perhaps. Uh, free throw given. And I think that's going to be that. There will be a shot from nine meters. But barring a bit of a miracle, we're going into the break. All square, 13-13. Let's see how this uh, shot comes off in the end, because it is number 13, Peter Nanadic, stepping up to take this. And, well, he's capable of absolutely anything. He could fire this one in the top corner. He could smack a defender in the face. And it's somewhere in between. Goes for the near post. <laughs> Saved by Perez de Vargas, and that's it for the first half of match of the week here at the Palo Blaugrana. And did have the opportunities to create a lead for themselves. And we're all level as we start this second half, and it's the home side attacking from left to right on your screens. It's Chris O'Reilly with you in the second half here in Barcelona. And this big clash for second place in Group B. And it's Angus on. Looked pretty effective when he came on, starting in the left back position for Barca. Dikamem on the ball here at the right back. And Ingeson sniffing an opportunity there and sneaking between number two and three in the right hand side. Vesprem are looking to counter straight away, and that's exactly what they do through Gaspar Margaret. So, early 45 seconds played. Both sides on the scoreboard in the second half. Mem, space on the line, but isn't found, and a chance now for Vesperen to break again. Lauga, ball across, one more pass inside, nicely done, and a good finish by Manu Sterlik. Vesperen have the lead. And I had a feeling that this game will start to heat up in the second half, both sides showing plenty of flashes of what they're capable of in terms of fast-paced play and counter-attacking. And at the start of the second half, producing exactly that. Then, asking for some movement from Fabregas in the line, looking to open up the space for himself right down the center, and you can see why as he breaks through there. Corrales got a touch to it, but not enough to keep it out. Linaric. You know, left back at the start of the second half. Lagotin check on the line. And Rasmus Lauga in the playmaker position for the first time today, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Shows the knowledge into Lauga. To come out and grab the steal if possible, or at least make Lauga think twice. That's what happened, and the shot in the end. Batted away by the defense and safely into the hands of Perez de Vargas. Shot by Mem. Just drifts wide to the left. Let's see, doesn't need much space and doesn't even need much of a run up. Take a man. Just let that left wrist flick the shot. There's plenty of power in it. St. Rich. Mem has to pick it up low, but the referees call a halt to the game. I think it was contact with the head on Lukas Indrich. Smack to the jaw there. He's looking at it again. Like a team check. Yeah. The arm is low, so is Sindrich, and the referees see that as worthy enough of a two-minute suspension. Much like in the first half, I think it was only two and a half minutes before he got his first suspension in the first half, just over two and a half minutes in the second half. So now he has to really be careful in the rest of this match. Another suspension for him, and his game is over. Plenty of space for Barson to work with here. Man, goes alone, wasn't a great idea. Shot was barely central. And Corrales stood his ground well. Save number nine for him. 
fake the pass behind the back into Fabregas. In the end, all the plaudits go to Corrales and Patrick Ligadvari in defense. Omar in the center with plenty of attention on him. Minadic, Omar. Lauga looking for help. He'll go in as the second line. Opens up some space for Nanadic in the center. Ball across to Lauga. Good movement here. Ball is flowing. And Nanadic in the end. Well, he draws everybody in around him and uses them all as just a cover. So the keeper can't see anything. Let's that shot. Flick past Engerson. It's just such a classic Peter Nanadic shot. When it works, it's a sight to behold. Down the other end, an immediate response. And Fabregas with his second of the day. Definitely could have had more opportunities on goal. And he's getting them. He's putting them away through the legs of the keeper on that occasion. Manage way back at his halfway line. Omar. Thinks about going alone, thinks twice. Inadic again, Omar with space now. Nielsen on the far side of the line. Shot is a bit of a shot to nothing in the end. By Lauga, happy to draw the foul though. Desprem, he can start thinking about solutions for this aggressive Barca defense. Inadic, ball into Nielsen on the line, spills away, and a chance for Barca to break. Ball across to Orinio. Mourinho into Sindrich, Lucas Sindrich finds space right down the centre. And with that, Barca take the lead. And this change of defensive formation from Barca, working a charm so far. It's really uh, left Vesperm stuck in the mud. Omar. Almost out of reach there of Omar, but in the end he makes, oh, he landed inside before taking the shot. Almost created something out of nothing there, but instead it's Barca who break, ball out to Jan. He decides against forcing it there. Sindrich to Mem. Mem, his teammates to calm down, will set it all up again. A tough goal. Did he drag his foot inside a little bit? Is that what the referees weren't happy about? The foot that was planted certainly was not inside. Then Engason saved by Corrales again. A chance to break down either wing, really. Lagotinchek now. Well, he's not the man you want running in in that situation, and he realizes it himself. Of a change up here as Omar doesn't get the memo. That's where we're going to go 7v6. Andy Nielsen, Lagotinchek, both in there on the line. Oh, nice pop pass inside to Andy Nielsen. He makes no mistake that time. Third goal for him from five attempts. That's a great little pass as well. Just out of the reach of Engerson. Nielsen does the rest. Oh, an interesting change up here by Momir Ilic and Vesprem going 7v6 already so early. And uh, it is a good way to counter that aggressive defense. So you have to give them credit for that. And Gasson wriggles past his defender. But again, it's Lagotinchek in the thick of the action. Two suspensions for him already. So. Cannot afford any more slip-ups or his game is over. Two lines in. Second from the left wing. That's great. And Lucas Indrich, he does that so well. He contorts his body and creates a chance for himself on the outside. And an immediate response by Nenadic. And Barca look to come back at them straight away here. Both teams after going into the break 13-13. It's 5-5 already after only eight minutes of the second half. Things really heating up at the Palo Blaugrana. 
both sets of fans coming into it as well, getting to appreciate what they're seeing. Fabregas on the wraparound, Angus on at the centre, all across the man, out to the wing, plenty of space, he could even bounce it on his way in, Blas Jans. He gives the home side the lead, but for how long? Omar, to Nanadic. To Yahya Omar, he'll make his way around to the right back position again, and Lauga will set things up from scratch. Lauga, nice to find the wing, but good defending there by Dikamem alongside Fabregas and Petrus in there as well. And with that, it's a bit of cat and mouse at the moment. Barca go 5 1, and immediately Vesprem go 7 v 6 to counter it. The battle of wills between the two coaches. Vinadic, save down low, picked up by Marguch on the rebound. Lauga, Vinadic has a look around, tries to force his way through, so much so that he gives away the attacker foul, picked up by Perez de Vargas. Taken over the halfway line by Dika Mem. They've got a man-up situation here. One right pass will unlock the defense, and it's Blasians again. Two in a row for him. And with that, Barca take a two-goal lead for the first time in this second half. Minadic, you can see at the front of your screen, just too slow getting back, too slow getting up as well. And that cost his side a simple goal. Makeda comes in and right back. Best rep. Persevere with 7v6, Nielsen save, but a penalty. And a two-minute suspension as well for the shove in the back by Blasians. As soon as Barca had a bit of a significant lead, as much as you can say a two-goal lead is significant, but that's as significant as we're getting so far today. They give away a penalty and a two-minute suspension. The penalty is put away by Margaret. One-goal game. It's Barca's time to manage the clock a little bit. Makwitz back in the centre at the moment. He'll switch between left and centre back with Sindrich. Round comes Fabregas on the line switch. And Sindrich walks into the centre. Now gets things going. Ball across the Makwitz. And it's squeezed in. I'm sorry, it was Langaro indeed. The similar body shapes, the two of them. It was Hania Langaro. Gives Barca their two-goal lead again. Overlap opportunity in the right-hand side. Vinadic back across the Makeda. Vinadic in the centre, keeps the ball moving here. Good flow, and in the end, a breakthrough and another penalty from the line. Last time it was Nielsen, this time Blagotinczyk. It was good play in the centre. Pedro Nanadic, he kept the ball moving. He wasn't doing much moving. But in the end, drew in the defender. Ball across, and Langaro, who is this defending inside, not too much he could really do about it in that situation once the ball was in the hands of Big Blaj. That save by Perez de Vargas again. Reliving that form from the first half. Up to 15 saves now, Gonzalo Perez de Vargas. This will not be beaten down low from the penalty line. And it's almost insulting to him to try and beat him like that. Big stop, a big moment as well. As Barca have managed to ride out this two-minute suspension. And have a penalty saved in the meantime. Langaro. 
He goes in as the second line, a space on the left-hand side. Well, Fabregas was down, the referees blew the whistle before Simic could break through. down a bit dramatically as well. Gaeta had a grip of him from behind. The referees just have the floor swept up. No punishments, no nothing. We go back again with a free throw. Mangaro managed to squeeze his way past Makeda, but he's having none of it. Mangaro again. Plays it to nobody, picked up by Nam. Hand up for passive play here. Nam, cross to Sindrich. Lucas Sindrich with a gorgeous piece of play. Fakes going for the shot, sends the defender up high. Then he goes down low and sneaks past for goal number five. And with that, the first three goal lead of the game for Barca and a timeout for Vespre. It's a real test of Vesprem's medal now. An incredibly poor record away from home against Barca. 12 losses in European competition. They've never managed to beat them. Looking to make it lucky number 13 today. At the moment, they find themselves in a tricky position as we edge towards the final quarter of this contest. Three goals down for the first time today. They did manage a 4-0 run in the first half. And around this period of the half, Let's see if they can produce something like that now. Junaric tries to find the line, and he nails it with bodies around and men hauling him down. Just a free throw given. Yes, it gets us going again. Mahe. Mahe drifts out to the left. Tries to draw some defenders with him. Makeda makes some space. Ball out to the wing. No space there, though. They have to recycle. Nunadic. And well, if all fails, give it to Peter Nunadic from about nine meters and just let him rip one. And goal number four for him. Bit of a congratulatory headbutt with Kantan Mahe. And again, Perez of Argas got a touch to it. Not enough to keep it out. And that brings Vesprem over the 20 goal mark, back within two. Jans in the right back position now, receives it in the center, lays it off. That's a good save by Corrales. He's back in the game now, and it's a Vesprem ball, a chance to break. And we're seeing something a bit like we did in the first half. Makeda looks to go alone. Blocked down by DKMM and a chance to bar set a break on the other side. Ball across to Ludwig Fabregas. Crashes it off the crossbar. Another chance to counter. This time, Vesprem's again, but I don't think Peter Nanadic is bothered anymore. He slows things down instead. And we've seen moments like that on a few occasions. Teams go back and forth and back again. This time, doesn't really work out for either. Interesting looking at the fast break statistics there. Eight goals for Vesprem, three for Barca. Nunadic to go low, thought against it in the end. Bit of no man's land at the moment. This time gets it back in a more comfortable position. Back to Maé. There's about three playmakers in there at the moment. And a little shove. Referees have a word. Back underway, hand is up for passive play. 
Nielsen. Back comes Margaret, she's a second line player, trying to create some space, but there's no space there. The ball trickles off the defender's arm or back or whatever hit it. It's in the hands of Paris de Vargas. I think Barca would be quite happy to have ridden out that stormy patch for a couple of minutes there where it seemed Tess Bremer riding high. That momentum has died just a little bit. Mem to Jans, back to Mem. Angaro, ball out to the wing, that's a nice pass, cross court in flight and put away by Alex Gomez. Really nice handball, great connection throughout the entire court and ends up with a wing to wing cross. Nice, simple stuff in the end, but it looks so, so good. And Alex Gomez, the beneficiary at the end of the play. Barca, back up by three. Persevering with this aggressive defense. It's almost a 3-2-1 here. Omar back in, nice pass across, really good. Simple handball, outside cross. And Omar throws themselves at the, at the defender, draws the foul, but just released the pass at the right time and a suspension on top of that. So it's the old one-two, a goal and a two-minute suspension. I said in the first half, we saw it a few times. We've seen it again here. Hania Langaro is off for the next two minutes. Conto Mahe put away that. Maybe the two goal game again. Didn't really manage to take advantage of the suspension last time. Bezrem can do better this time around. Ben Ali on the line. Jans gives it off to Mem. Mem looking around for the pass. Back out to Jans. Nika Mem has space. Plays it off to Engerson into the line. And it's really good. Attacking, flowing handball again by Barca. They're really finding the rhythm now. That's an attacker foul call against Yahi Omar. And on top of that, well, things go from bad to worse as Pedro Nanadis refuses to give the ball away. And a two minute suspension given immediately. So, well, my question was about 40 seconds ago how well would they be able to? Capitalize on that two-minute suspension? The answer, not at all. And fairly clear decision for the referees, and Nadic just holds on to the ball a second too long. And things go from bad to worse. There's the Ben Ali goal at the other end. Nice movement. Now, Marsa by an attack here, 6 3 5. And that means plenty of space for Pika Man. And he makes no mistake there. 5 from 7. And he's been cautious in his shooting today. He hasn't gone all out all the time. He's picked his moments uh, for the most part, as the stats show. It's worked out for him. to Omar Lauga tries to find his teammate but there's an empty net to shoot into in the end easiest goal he'll score all day Aitor Arrino said the easiest goal he'll score all day could be his first goal if I'm not mistaken and with that it's the third and final time out of the day for Vesprem. They find themselves in dire straits. Can't dig themselves out of this. Five goals down. Okay, it's here. And my age here. Okay, you understand me? Hey, we don't have nothing to lose. We run. We run. Give all, to all of our power. Yaki Alisa. In attack, we are minus one. We play. Open, open, field for screen for Yakia. If they are 5-1, 
play against Enge Sun for one on one and Empoli is behind. Okay. Come on, guys! Come on, guys! Get down! Come on, guys! Get down! Out of the pace of the game in the second half. There's still time to turn around this five goal deficit. They have the quality, but Barca have really outthought their opponents today in defense in the second half. It's a real cat and mouse game between the two coaches and at the moment. Antonio Carlos Ortega is on top here, not just because of the defense, but also his attack really finding flow like I haven't seen them find too often this season. The 5-1 defense continues. I think given too much space here, Lauge either. No space to run into. Omar has to get the momentum here. That's really nice. Well, you need space to run into when you can catch the ball basically in the air and shoot. And a chance here for Barca to break down the other end immediately. And it's put away two in a row for Arthur Orino. Very good response. Two goals from two in the space of about a minute. Orino, who only came back from injury this season. The man born in Wales. Not too much else about him as Welsh. Definitely not his handball playing. Omar. Hey. Lauga. Yeah, Omar again uses the defender there nicely. Draws him in and doesn't give Perez of Vargas much view of the shot in the end. Good finish. Four goal game again. So that's Brem finding their mojo in attack once more and they need some stops and they're approaching an aggressive defense of their own here with Manuel Sterlich on the top of 5-1. Jans for the pass, Deacon Man, wow, Deacon Man <laughs> sends the keeper down low and all of a sudden the ball flashes into the top right hand corner. 28-25, ball almost spills out of Margaret's hands, gets the free throw anyway. Nine and a half minutes left in the second half, which, to be fair, has flown by in comparison to the first half. Mahe, movement by Nielsen on the line. Omar with space from nine meters, and Perez of Argas guessed the right way, but couldn't keep it out. Just a bit too much mustard in that one. Six goals from seven. Yahia Omar. Despite that, there's the Vargas still on an incredibly impressive saving percentage. 15 saves in this match so far. Just below 40%. Fingerson looks for some help. He uh, man. Taken out of the play momentarily. He's left alone now in the center. Jans tries to wriggle his way past Lauga. Miss Lauga just about. Holds on until the whistle comes. Alex Gomez in as a second line player. And finds Gomez. Ah, good play again. It's Gomez from the line this time. Brings back that all important five goal lead again. Quick response. By Laugan, you feel like this 4-5 goal exchange between the sides is crucial. If Barca can keep it at this, they'll be happy. They'll cruise towards victory. As soon as Vesprem can cut it to three, I feel like that's where the danger and the nerves might start to creep in. Jans, bounce pass across. He goes in as the second line. And Receives the ball back to Mangasson. Mem alone at Deacon Mem. Well, he can play alone like that all day when he's feeling in this form. Goal number seven. Omar. Ball behind the back, but attacker foul call and good defending by Blasians. Look at 
that 11 turnovers, it's really uh, made a big difference in this second half. Barca have turned the turnovers off as a bit of an argy bargy going on there between Lagotinchek and Alex Gomez. In the meantime, looks like a timeout has been called, so the Barca boys have to get back to their own huddle. Let's listen in to what Ortega has to say. No, no, hostia, si podemos ganar de uno más, vamos ahí, tío. No, no regalemos goles ahí. Vamos a juntarnos. Cuando nos ataque uno contra uno, vamos a juntarnos. No nos quedamos separados. Muy bien, muy bien, la Pericut de Pecho. Vendré hasta aquí. ¿Eh? Vale, no tío, no intercambiemos goles. Ahora lo único que nos puede ser que le podemos meter partido es que perdamos balones y contraataque. Ataques de arco, rotando el pasivo, seguir jugando ahí. ¿Vale? Vamos para Dica. So, see a replay of where that kicked off a little bit. Hard to know exactly what was happening, though. As you can hear. Was happening down on court. Luis Gomez acting the innocent party anyway. It's all behind us. Back underway, seven minutes left in the game. Jans receives it back from him. Not a lot of space there for Alex Gomez, but that doesn't matter a little bit to him. Whips that one in, tight angle, fires it in off the far post. Chupara came out and tried to cover as much of that as possible. Still just left a little gap there, a little bit of light for Gomez to fire into. Omar. Yeah, Omar, he's found some space there. But oh, it's big. There is a Vargas. Has it been as? Busy in this second half, and that's a huge save. Just when Parsa needed him to shut up shop one last time here and ensure the victory. He does exactly that. Omar again. Brings it off to Nanadic, and he earns the penalty. Draws the defender in and just lets his soft shot sure that the referees were going to call the penalty. Douglas Petrus doesn't look too bothered by it, though. Big smile with Perez de Vargas. He's already saved a couple of penalties. And he saved one from Nanadic. He can't on this occasion. The best friend back within five now. Five minutes left. There's still time. Barca, you have to say, looking very comfortable at the moment. Jans now in the center, having a word with Fabregas, lets him know what's going to happen. And we want two with Engerson. Jans gets it back off Mem. Mem, Engerson, hand up for passive play. Shot has to come in here, Engerson, the man, the liver. Now, well, everything just going so, so smoothly. For this Barca attack, I mentioned it before, I'm not sure I've seen it function so well in a big game like this this season. And it seems like the winter break has done this team well, they've regrouped and discovered a new level of form for them in attack and when you have Perez de Vargas deliver, well, he's able to deliver between the posts, well, it's a killer combination. Uh, Fabregas. That's his marching orders for two minutes for that. A bit of a poke in the eye and also dragging the jersey over. He puts his hands up immediately to apologize and no hard feelings. So that's the man up here. Lunatic. Almost stolen. Omar goes through low and spins that one pass. Nice composure. Ayahi Omar. 
Seventh goal of the game for him. And not too much spare as the Warriors can do about that one. This one. The wing switch. Then Ali on the wraparound. Then into the center. Barca. Only just controlling the tempo here. Happy to wait and try and find these little gaps of opportunity as Brazians goes down heavily in another two minute suspension. This time, uh, contact down low, I think. Oh, it definitely seems to hurt. That Blas Blagotinchik again, the guilty party. If so, that's the end of his game. Now that was uh, Ligadvari. Went down low, and I think, uh, well, I don't need to explain to you what's hurting there. Ligadvari goes off for two minutes. Thankfully, Blas Jans has uh, been able to get uh, wind back into his sails, and he's back up on his feet again. Both sides a man down now. Barca not concerned about bringing the keeper off here. Happy to play 5v5, which is refreshing to see. Oh, nice movement brings Gomez into play. Just held up before he gets the shot away. Free throw call again. 40 seconds left on the Barca suspension. Like everything Barca are throwing in the backcourt today, in the second half in particular, finding its target. Goal number five for Timothy Gasson. On top of that, seven from DKMM. Mahe. Ball across to Nanadic. Nanadic bounces that one just out of the reach of Gonzalo Perez de Vargas. That's his sixth goal of the game. Decent shooting percentage for the Nanich. A bit of fortune there, though. But it doesn't really matter at this stage. Just over two minutes left in this contest. Barca are all but certain to be taking the two points here today. And with that, they'll extend their lead over Vesprem to three points. And he can them again. Well, they're making it look easy here, and uh, some worrying signs for this Vesprem defense because they've just been a little bit too passive, particularly in the second half. They've stood back and waited for the shooters to come on, and they've punished them over and over again. Temporarily, at least, Barca will be three points clear in second place. PSG playing later on tonight if they can manage a victory that'll make it two points again so nothing guaranteed nice ball across to Andy Nielsen there he's been a solid performer on the line after the more active in terms of attack of the two line players for Vesprem also Positive signs for the Barca team in attack and how many players they've brought onto court today. They've really rotated the bench nicely and everyone's been able to contribute. And uh, well, it's just all happening for them now. Another one for Blas Jans. Got a bit of a touch on the way through. That was fortunate for him. Ball across by Margaret keeps it in play. Final 35 seconds here. Aye. Squeezes that one in. Keeps the scoreboard ticking over. Brings up the 30 goal mark for Vesprem. What Barca will be most happy about is that they've managed to score 35 here. Any time for one more if they're bothered. The crowd at the Palo Blaugrana, which is as big as I've seen it for a long while, on their feet here and celebrating this one already. 
Two seconds left, one more shot in. And with that, the two points here tonight in match of the week go to the home side, Barca. A comprehensive second half performance. We are all square, 13-13. At halftime, 22 goals scored in the second half for the home side. And with that, they take full...